I don't know about you, but I sure will be glad when we stop getting emails and texts from the campaigns and when we stop seeing political ads. One that is garnering some attention and backlash online is for the Harris campaign produced by a group called Vote Common Good. And joining us this morning to discuss is our Washington insider, Armstrong Williams. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning. Now, in this ad, you see a, a couple at a, a polling precinct. I don't know if we can show it or not. The husband asks his wife if she made the right choice. She says she did with a smirk after she voted for Harris. The ad implying that she lied to her husband because the ad states, quote, what happens in the booth stays in the booth. Now, this was a controversial ad that got a conversation going on X. Some users saying this was misogynistic and it was condescending toward women. And it struck a nerve with you as well. What was your thoughts? Uh, well, listen, uh, it portrays women as being weak, subservient, can't make up their own mind. And it doesn't always indicate when women are also encouraging their husbands to make the right decision. How can you vote for Donald Trump or how can you vote for Kamala Harris? I mean, to use this ad to further divide mm -hmm. uh, is sort of, you know, ridiculous. But the voters are intelligent this time around, Jan, and they'll figure it out. Yeah, it also, you know, in a way, it goes back to what Harris even said herself when she was inadvertently caught on audio talking to Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer about the problem with getting male voters because the ad implies that men are not supporting Harris, but I don't know, maybe some of their wives might be. So how important is the male vote this election? Can Harris win if she is struggling with that large <laughs> voting block? Jen, every vote matters. Women, men, People who've never voted before, every vote matters. I mean, this is an election of epic proportions. They'll do everything they can to give them an advantage and edge. And if it means manipulating people and believing that men are not supporting her and using Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton, they'll do whatever. They want to win. There's so much at stake, like you said in your opening. I've gotten enough text from both sides. I feel as though I've been hacked. I have no control over it. <laughs> right? Okay. Oh my yes. God, it's, it's too much, right? These emails, too, these ads, these texts, oh, nonstop crazy. text messages. Yes. Uh, Bill Maher said Biden's garbage comments will be more impactful than anyone realizes. And he said it's because it epitomizes everything that Trump people hate about Democrats. And that is that they are looked down upon like trash. He said it is deplorables times 10. What's your thoughts? Listen, Biden, Obama, Michelle, Pelosi, people just cannot fathom why anybody would vote for Donald Trump. They see him as classless. They do see him as garbage. And when Biden said his garbage supporters, he meant exactly what he said. He was at his wits end to understand why anybody in their right mind would vote for Donald Trump. But guess what? Many people in their right mind are asking how anybody can vote for untested Vice President Kamala Harris. So it goes both ways. But he meant it when he said garbage. No matter who wins the White House, the Senate and House will be crucial, Armstrong. What races right now are you keeping a close eye on? Well, well listen, uh, Marino is winning in Ohio. Tester is in trouble. Uh, I actually think the Democrats are poised to gain seven seats in the House and at least lose four seats in the Senate and the Republicans will control the Senate. Unless people are not telling you who they're voting for and something's going to happen at the last minute, uh, it's going to be very interesting to see whether they, Mike Johnson can maintain control of the House. Right now, uh, the geography is not in his favor. Washington Insider, Armstrong Williams, always a pleasure to see you, sir. We'll be seeing you tomorrow as well on Election Day. Yes. Get ready. Buckle up. All right.